Hello programmers. In today's class, we will see what are multiple operations in OpenOffice Calc. So multiple operations tool create a formula array, a separate cell of uh, set of cells that give all the alternative results for the formula used. That means you can use one formula and it will give us alternative results for the same formula for different values. So it allow you to calculate different results without having to enter and run them separately. That means you don't need to run separate formulas for different values. You can do that by using multiple operations. Now uh, I'll explain you through this example. Uh, I'll show you the practical of it. For this I'm taking a example of manufacturing unit. So this manufacturing unit is manufacturing pen. So this is a table which gives you the data like it's the selling price of one pen is 10 rupees. The cost price per pen is 2 rupees. That is a company has to spend 2 rupees for manufacturing one pen. Now the expenditure of uh, that plant or the manufacturing unit is 10,000. This is a fixed amount 10,000 and the number of pen manufactured if it is 2000. So let us first calculate what is the profit and loss for this. So this can be calculated by using formula quantity into selling price minus cost price. That is the uh, whatever the company is uh, earning uh, or making a minus the company spending uh, for making one pen. What we can do, we can multiply uh, with the quantity that means 2000 and then I will we can subtract the expenditure uh, um, of the plant or uh, whatever the expenditure is there uh, for manufacturing which is the uh, fixed amount now here I'll write the formula for this I'll use equal to sign and then quantity quantity is 2000 so it is stored in cell B10 we have to multiply this and then inside the round bracket I'll take selling price minus cost price the selling price is there in this cell B7 I'll use minus and the cost price is there in this cell which is B8 then I'll close the round bracket minus and the annual expenditure of the plant so which is there in B9 when I press enter key I'll get the uh, the result for 2000 pence when um, the earning is uh, the selling price is per pen is 10 rupees the cost price is 2 rupees and the annual expenditure is 10,000. So this is the profit the company is making. So now what I can do is using this multiple operations I can calculate whatever the profit or the loss is there uh, to the company for different quantities of pen. So uh, I can take any number of quantities here. I'll start from 1000 and with the difference of 1000 only I'll make a table. Um, so I'm taking 1000, 2000 and then I can, you can take any number, any quantity you want and then you can uh, use autofill option. So these are the number of pens. Now what will be the profit or loss to the company when number of pens are 1000, 2000, 3000 and this way. So for this you don't need to uh, write a formula for each quantity you just have to use multiple operation so how to use it I have to select these two cells sorry I have to select only the values the values in these two columns now you have to remember one thing these are the number of pens and this is the formula for number of pens 2000 so and a number of pens I'm ta I have taken in column so first of all this thing you have to remember you have to keep in mind I will go to data menu and then I will select multiple operations I'll get a dialog box here now I told you the formula is where is the formula formula is in this cell when I click on this it will automatically take the cell address now here you can use row input cells also column input cell now row input cell and column input cell you can take both when you are using two variables here I am taking only one variable and that is column input cell as you can see the number of pen is in column so what I'll do is I will do this I will not take row input cell because that I will take when I will calculate by using two variables here I am using only one variable 
so for column input cell the formula and the quantity or the number of pen go in this cell so i will click on this when i click on ok i will get the profit and loss for for this formula and without typing for a different uh, number of pens i am just getting it by using multiple operations so now uh, just check it when the number of pens manufactured is 1000 the company will be in loss uh, it will face a loss of minus 2000 2000 that means when the company is manufacturing 2000 pen it will be in a profit of 6000 as you can see this so this uh, this is uh, correct so now let us calculate the uh, the profit per pen here now see this when the uh, company is manufacturing 2000 pen it's making a profit of 6000 so here i can calculate the profit per pen how by using equal to and the profit divided by the number of pen this will give me the profit per pen so the profit per pen is 3 rupees here now we will calculate profit and loss per pen so for this first of all let me clear this i will clear this column now this is profit per pen what i want to calculate now is the profit and loss uh, when the company is manufacturing these the number of pens and the profit and loss per pen the company will get so for this i will select this range again i'll go to data and then multiple operations now as you know the formula is in these two cells one is the profit and loss when it is manufacturing 2000 and uh, this cell is giving us the profit per pen so my formula is there in these two cells that's why i have to select both the cells here now i am using the column input cell the column input cell as i told you i am using only one variable so for number of pens we are calculating and number of pen is in this cell so i'll select this and then i'll click on ok so this will give me the profit and loss uh, when the company is manufacturing 1000 pen it's getting a loss of 2000 rupees and the uh, loss per pen is 2 rupees so more the number of pen the more profit company is making so when it is manufacturing 15000 pen it's making a profit of this amount and the uh, profit per pen will be 7 rupees uh, 0.33 so this way you can use multiple operations for one variable now let us use multiple operations for two variables two variables that means for uh, column input also and for row input also for this let me uh, clear this i will select it and backspace and the number of pins so uh, in this row i will take uh, the uh, selling price so if a uh, company is selling pen per pen uh, with 8 rupees or with 10 rupees or with 12 14 so and 16 rupees so what will be the profit and loss in case the company is selling pen uh, in rupees or with 10 rupees 12 rupees 14 and 16 so here i am taking row input this is uh, this i have kept in row first of all let me just select this and i'll apply border to it So in this case, I'll take column input as well as row input. The row is selling price per pen and the column input will be the number of pens. I will select this cell and I will use this format painter to format it. Yeah. Now uh, for calculating this, I have to select the cells. I will select the entire data first and then 
I will go to data, multiple operations. No, for formula, I will take the same formula. For row input, for row input, I, I will go to, what is row? Row is displaying the uh, selling price per pen. So uh, for this formula, selling price per pen is in this cell. So I will click here. And for column input, column is the number of pens. So here the number of pen for 6000 is in this cell. So I'll click here and then I will click on OK. Now what we have done here is we are trying to calculate the profit and loss uh, the company is making when it is selling the pen uh, in this 8 rupees or 10 rupees, 12, 14 or 16 rupees. So when the company is manufacturing 1000 pen uh, and it is selling the pen per pen with 8 rupees, it is making a loss of 4000. And if it is manufacturing uh, 3000 pen or maybe 2000 pen as we have calculated for 2000 pen here. And if it is selling with 10 rupees, the com company is making a profit of 6000 rupees. And if it is selling uh, with 12 rupees it's making a profit of 10,000 rupees for 2,000 pen. So here we have taken two variables where one variable is the number of pen and the second variable is for this row which is the selling price per pen. So this way you can just calculate one formula and for you can get uh, you don't have to calculate different formulas for this different uh, quantities and price or selling price and it will give you a clear picture now if it is uh, like you can see here if the company is manufacturing 1000 pen and it is selling per pen uh, per uh, the selling price per pen is 12 rupees it's neither making a profit nor a loss so uh, it gives you a clear picture and this is the way we use multiple operations in open office calc i think it's very clear to you uh, if you liked the video, please uh, click on like button and please subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed. Thanks for watching.